the Cuban man. We found the guy. This the guy that's gonna put hands and feet on your boy Earl the White Bully Spin. The Cuban gonna put hands and feet on your boy Earl the White Bully Spin. Nah, that, that's not true. That's not true. Listen, at the end of it, nah, nah, nah. We're not gonna do that. I see you about to jump in there, man. Listen, can I do this video, man? The people wanna hear what your boy CBT got to say, man. It's been a minute, man. You should be talking about how to fix this damn chair, man. It's just squeaking every goddamn way. You dig me? But I like the fact that you got the old man. You dig the old man? That's the CBT casual hat on with the black and red J's. I see you play, boy. You dig? Listen, man, I ain't gonna hold you. When I walk through the gym with the CBT on, with the all black leather, you dig what I'm saying? With the headbands, with the armbands, you dig? I'm hitting the bag with the CBT gloves on. Females, they be like, woo, it's iron me. Like, panties be dropping. I be like, chill, be easy, be easy. But listen, like you said, I got the green, the yellow, the blue. I got so many colors with the signature gloves and all that, son. But what I'm gonna do, you dig? I'm gonna, uh, at the end of the week, we're gonna get it together. And we're going to give a giveaway to the CBT supporters, man. They've been holding me down for four years. You dig? Moving and shaking. All 30,000. You dig? Subscribers and all that. Got the haters in there, too. So I'm not mad at them. But listen, can I do the video, man? I got so many phone calls, my nigga. The nigga just called me yesterday and was like, yo, did you see Earl Way Bully? And I'm like, son, I'm on top of things. Three calls later, you dig what I'm saying? Niggas is telling me different things. And I'm like, hold on. I'm be back, man. I'll be back. I just got back, so let's do the video, man. You heard? Yo, check the uh this shit's sleepy as hell, man. Yo, check the uh video, the visuals on this joint. Make sure I'm looking wavy out this joint. Make sure I'm looking wavy, your boy CBT. I'm good. How about the uh sound? Casual boxing talk. I want that thing to be beaming. You feel me when I say casual boxing talk, you dig niggas subscribe when I say casual boxing talk, you dig me? You be good? Alright, let's get into this thing. What's poppin' fight world? You rockin' with your boy, Kaz. You boxing talk. We're shaking out there, man. It's been a minute, man. Yeah, I know. You dig? Thanks for coming back to the channel, man. I just got back from Cali, Columbia. You dig? Moving and shaking out there, man. It's a beautiful thing. Got so many different videos. So many bad females. So much to talk about, man. So much to show my peoples, man. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hit notifications so when I drop that Cali, Columbia, y'all gonna be like, Woo, your boy CBT moving and shaking out there. You dig me? And I keep it 100% funky out. Right, when I tell y'all what's really going down, you dig hands and feet on the grand experience. But listen, let's get into this thing, man. You know, boxing for me, man. It's been given, it's been given like no good competition. You dig what I'm saying? For a long minute. But well, we got some good fights this weekend. My boy Lou been coming back. I smell an upset. But what I really want to talk about is Earl Away Bully Spence, man. Getting so many different phone calls. I'm checking so many different things out. You dig what I'm saying? Doing my homework before I come on and keep keep it funky with you guys, man. You dig? You know I'm not a uh, Earl Away Bully supporter. You dig? You know I done ran them out of his own gym. You know niggas done kicked me out of his gym because I wanted that work. I wanted that smoke. And you dig? He ain't want that work. And that's documented. But at the end of the day, I'm keeping it a thousand even though I don't like him, man. But, homie, first of all, you need to understand that the fight is in two weeks. You got up until Wednesday next week to put your bets on the line. You see what I'm saying? We going at $100. Uh, of course, I got you get to win by decision. Uh, and I'm not mad. A lot of you guys want to hedge the bet by, you know, knockout by a certain round. I'm allowing that, but that, you can't, you only can have one bet. You can either say, yo, by decision. Or you dig this bet on the winner, basically. Or you can say, yo, clip around now, got all the way bully. 200 on the board. We good with that. Put a dollar sign in the comment section if you want to bet with your boy CBT. The betting lines close Wednesday, man. I got my boy, you dig? You just win it by a 12 round decision. And I'm willing to put up bread for the knockout by the seventh round. You just knocking out your boy, Earl Way Bully, man. What I've been seeing what, what, in the phone calls that I've been getting, man, it, the consensus is that the Way Bully look old, sloppy, and tired, and slow. Point blank, period, man. Did you see the workouts? Did you take the media workouts, man? Hitting the bag, moving his feet, trying to move his head a little bit there. He wasn't really trying to move his head, but I, I you know, I could see. Like he was telling me, he's going to be trying to switch hit against my boy Yugis in this fight. We're going to get into that in a little bit, though. But at the end of the day, man, he just looked real old, man. He looked old, man. It's because of the PEDs and all that, man. It's because of draining, your, you know, losing 50 pounds in, what, five weeks, man? I mean, that is just... 
that's hard to do, people. I know y'all may say, yo, but these guys are athletes. Listen, early weight bully Smith has been telling you, uh, like other fighters, I'm, I, I'm, I'm more focused this camp. Um, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, eat too much after this fight. And what happens? They all blow up. But we're specifically talking about the weight Billy Spence. He blows up in weight, man. To lose 60, 40 pounds, it's, it's a lot. and takes a lot on your body for so many years, man. This guy is like a life at 147. It's ridiculous. He should have moved up. You dig what I'm saying? After the Lamont Peterson fight, if you ask me, to 154. I mean, he stayed, overstayed his welcome, man. And this is why his body is breaking down. He's old in the face. He's slurring his words. He always talking like he was from... He did, or he was shucking on Javante. Listen, I don't know what these dudes is doing anymore. You heard Javante talking about after this fight, he about to blow. <laughs> I don't know what he gonna blow. He gonna blow Adrian Broner. He in the wheelchair. I don't know if these things even working anymore. We gonna get into that in the next video. But at the end of the day, Listen, man, it's simple. The weight bully Spence talent has nothing to do with his boxing skills or his technique, but everything to do with him being the weight bully. And, of course, great matchmaking by his team. you got to give them that because they put him in the ring with smaller men. All those guys he's been in the ring with, right, had one thing in common. He was bigger than these dudes, man, the Algeries, Mikey Garcia. I mean... Lenny Bundu, Algeria, man, these guys were B-level fighters that were smaller. This is why the weight bully was able to be dominant against these guys, man. But when he got in the ring with a guy that was a big boy and Sean Porter, he got washed. He looked it bad. Did you see the interview after that, man? He won that fight because of a popularity contest, man, not because of his skills or abilities. Tell me what you've seen in that fight. That was special. Other than keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, and take the left, take the uppercut, take the right. That's all he was doing was eating punches, man, because he don't move his head. I said all that to say this, man. There's nothing special about this dude, man. But a Dennis Yugas, on the other hand, is a big boy himself. So it won't be no weight bullying. You see what I'm saying? It won't be no front foot dominant, pushing him on the ropes, doing what you want with a smaller guy. No, a Dennis Yugas, the Cuban, is a powerful guy too. You see what I'm saying? Now, for me, to break the fight down, I want a Dennis Yugas. I want him to be on the back foot. I want him to be a counter puncher early in this fight. He's a great counter puncher. And if you look at and you contrast the fight between Porter and, and, and your boy, the Cuban, versus uh, Spence and Porter, Dennis Jugas did well against Porter, man, pushing him on the back foot. Every time Porter came inside, <coughs> eat that. Every time Porter tried to go to the right, <coughs> hold that hook, go to the body, come back upstairs, drop that cocksucker by the rope. But they didn't call that. Now, if you look at Spence and Porter, you already know what it is. Porter was doing what he wanted to do because Porter showed skills, right? Foot movement, head movement, a game plan that he followed. You dig what I'm saying? And Spence, come forward, come forward, go to the body, come upstairs, predictable. You dig what I'm talking about? And Dennis Yugas, man, a young, hungry lion, you look at the workout media footage, man, hitting the bag, moving the feet, moving the head, looking confident, coming off a victory against Manny Pacquiao. It's going to springboard him into this fight against your boy, the weight bully, with confidence, man. You don't get no better than beating Manny Pacquiao, than going into another fight. You're going to exude confidence. You're going to feel you can do whatever you want to do in contrast to the weight bully coming off of eye surgery. You dig what I'm saying? He looks saggy and sick. You see what I'm talking about? The PEDs is catching up to him. You dig what I'm talking about? But for me, if I break the fight down, man, I'm telling you, back foot game is going to be important. Counter punches is going to be important. Don't be front foot dominant until you get those spots. About fifth, sixth. When you get those spots where no one's doing anything, the weight bully coming forward, trying to shoot the jab out there, not touching nothing, that's when you be front foot down. That's when you press the action. That's when you go to the body. And that's when you double up. Everybody talk about the weight bully Spence being a body snatcher. No. No. If you know anything about the Cuban, he goes to the body well. And he, he goes down there too. It ain't no game. You see what I'm saying? But I need him to double and triple that thing up. And we're going to talk more about this fight. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's so much money on the wood, man. And I'm telling you dudes, man, no less, no more than $100 as far as the fight itself. No more, no less than $200 as far as picking the round in which you believe the way Billy Smith is going to knock out or stop. Or you dig what I'm saying? Or you think, you know, this is going to quit the fight. If you think the Cuban is going to quit the fight by a certain round, uh, you can put up $200 for that hedge to bet, if you will. But uh, it's so much money. I got so many bets already, and I ain't even put up a video yet. Just got that. You see what I'm saying? But uh, Dennis Jugas is going to bring in action, guys. And this is going to be an upset 
Uh, it's going to shake the boxing world, man. He's going to expose this dude, man. I just want him to get his credit. Because here's a guy, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he fights fair. You dig what I'm saying? He's not dirty. You dig what I'm talking about? And he's going to win this fight fair and square. And then I, I don't want people to say, well, you know, Spence had the eye surgery. You know, Spence wasn't, you know, feeling too well. He, he was 60%. I mean, here's a guy in the way Billy Spence says that he can beat guys at 50%. At 50%, you can beat guys because the PEDs is the extra 50%. And of course, Vada, you got the green belt, you got the WBC strap. Now, that, that strap is meaningful, meaningful because of the great fighters who uh, once held that, that belt. But it's also meaningful because WBC boxing, Vada program. You see what I'm saying? And we love that because guys are being tested. But you're not testing for this fight? You don't even want the Cuban to test for this fight? I mean, this is ridiculous. He's not being tested, guys. So that scares me. And of course, the popularity scares me. But I think that, and I know that Yugas is going to win this fight convincingly. You can't rob him. You see what I'm saying? It'll be like Anthony Joshua and your boy Yusick. Yusick won that fight, man. And people say, well, the judges gave, try to try to cheat. They tried to, but they just couldn't. For me, the scores was perfect. Anthony Joshua did some things in that fight that a lot of you guys wasn't looking at because you were just um, admired or, you know, you was happy of the results that you were seeing from Yusuf. You said, that's all. But Anthony Joshua did well in that fight and he's going to win the second fight easy early. But at the end of the day, man, I hope there's no excuses and I hope my, my boy don't get robbed. You dig what I'm saying? Because I'm putting them heavy paper on this fight. Stats is in the building. It's nothing. You dig what I'm saying? Put the dollar sign in the comment section, man. But we're going to break down this fight a little bit more, you know, tomorrow and the next day. And the next day until the fight go down, we got about we got a week and a half or about a week to go. So um, that's more that I want to talk about. So we're going to get to it, man. But at the end of the day, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, thanks to all my CBT supporters, man, for riding with your boys. It's been a long journey, man. I've been going for a whole month, so the hours are really going to be crazy. You might not get your notification. You know how YouTube do, man. I'm going to be stuck in the mud for a long minute, but it is what it is. I love the sport, and I'm just happy that we got some great fights coming up. You see what I'm saying? Because that's when I'll be able to talk about these things, man. Because to me, you know, uh, I'm just not going to be throwing out videos anymore. Just to be throwing them out. I'm not chasing views. I'm not chasing a status. I'm not chasing any of that anymore. That was when I was young in the sport, man. To see these guys, you know, and guys that I don't like as far as boxing. They box an opinion I don't like. Them themselves, I don't know them to dislike them. You know, the Eagles and the, the 78s and the Blue Bloods and these cocksuckers like that. The LD, LDBC, if you will. Um... You know, it's good to see that they still pumping boxing out, though. I, I I love that. You dig what I'm saying? Although I disagree with their views, I love that they're putting out boxing. They're keeping boxing alive, man. But me, personally, I can't be that guy that I used to be. You dig what I'm saying? And you know my, my body of work. Is, you know my body, baby. Y'all know my body of work, man. The YouTube videos is this proof. I was on. I was in the gym. I was on the streets. I was in the park giving it to y'all, jumping rope, hitting the mitts, doing different things, showing y'all different movements. And I'm still put out uh, videos like that, but not as frequent as I used to, man. Because, you know, as you get older and, and then as you do different things and as you evolve, you just try to change certain things in your life. You just can't do the same thing as the past, but you rocking with your boy CBT. Holla at me. Peace. <laughs> Far Rock America, stand up. <laughs> Don't make me take this jacket off, playboy. <laughs> Don't make me take this jacket off, playboy. <laughs> uh, we looking for the weight bully. <laughs> we looking for Earl of Weight Bully Strange. <laughs> we looking for the weight bully. <laughs> we looking for the weight bully.